sin. God made a plan to bridge that separation so that man and woman could once again choose to walk in full fellowship with God. Portions of that promise, of that plan, have been revealed to us even from the times of Genesis. Messengers, judges, angels, and prophets told God's plan to send his own son to be the Messiah, to free us from the bondages that hold us back from God. Listen to a portion of the words from the prophets that tell us of God's pleading for mankind to come to him. Listen and receive. <coughs> Just a few of the prophet's words and promises. To Abraham, God said, In thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. To Abraham's son Isaac, God said, I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his descendants after him. Of Isaac's son, Jacob, God said, There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. To the place where he was to be born, it is said, But you, O Bethlehem, are only a small village in Judah, yet a ruler of Israel will come from you, one whose origins are from the distant past, from of old, from everlasting. And to the people, God said, Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and you shall call his name Emmanuel.
angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city in town of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the descendants of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming in, Gabriel said to her, Hail, thou art favored by the Lord. Why do you come to me? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have been chosen to conceive in your womb and to give birth to a son. You shall call him Jesus. He will be great. He will be called the Son of the Most High. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. How shall this be? I have never known a man. With God, nothing is impossible. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel of the Lord departed from her. <laughs> 